Hello everyone! Welcome to our channel. For today's video, we will be talking about the science teacher. In determining the effectiveness of a science teacher, the knowledge of the subject matter, pedagogical competence, and quality values are at utmost consideration. The passion of a science teacher is evident when teaching is not solely about mastery of the content but also about the functionality of the skills acquired. The context of characterizing an effective science teacher is adapted from the framework of science teacher education by Department of Science and Technology and University of the Philippines National Institute of for Science and Mathematics Education Development to with professional knowledge, professional practice, and professional attributes. Professional knowledge includes knowledge of science content, knowledge of pedagogical content, knowledge of general pedagogy, and knowledge of the science curriculum. So knowledge of science content, this refers to the disciplinary conceptual knowledge of the teacher. Good subjects of knowledge involves understanding the substance, content, and structures and organization of the science subject itself. It is essential for the teacher to explain not only the facts of science, but more importantly, the arguments for the scientific knowledge. When it is weak, very the teachers find it difficult to deal with learners' questions and resort to teaching from textbook to avoid having their lack of knowledge exposed. So the science teacher may have a particular area of expertise rep represented by an academic degree or the equivalent, but it is essential that he or she has spread of knowledge across several other science disciplines to become scientifically, technologically, and environmentally literate. So, an effective science teacher has an extensive knowledge of basic science concepts and other applications to daily life with other disciplines. An effective science teacher has mastery of concepts considered important for all students and those that serve as enrichment topics for particular grade or year levels. So, an effective science teacher can identify and address science misconceptions of students and in textbook. Hello everyone, so what I'm going to share today is about the knowledge of general pedagogy. So when we say knowledge of general pedagogy, it refers to teacher knowledge about characteristic and cognitive levels of varied learners. Variety of learner-centered teaching and learning approaches including assessment and classroom management. More specifically, it includes knowledge about how learners learn, alternative conception that many learners hold, issue of safety, availability of appropriate resources, and the values held by various stakeholders in the education process. That's all. Thank you. Pedagogical Content Knowledge Pedagogical content knowledge refers to the knowledge that the teacher must have to be able to teach the subject matter. This type of knowledge is complex with many interacting aspects included under general pedagogy. The first one is the effective science teacher does not only have strong background of his or her subject matter, but also he knows how to develop learners' deeper understanding of a subject matter. Second, is an effective science teacher is aware of suitable science goals and learning programs for his or her students, knowing that this will necessitate change over time depending on circumstances of learners and other relevant factors. Third, an effective science teacher knows a wide range of ways in which learners are likely to learn science best building on prior knowledge and experience and mental constructs to introduce new experiences and ideas. 
Fourth one is the effective science teacher knows how to engage learners in discussions so that he or she clarifies and develops their understanding of concepts under its investigation. Knowledge of the curriculum structure and materials. Curricular knowledge refers to knowledge of the place of science in the basic education level, the interrelatedness of the content of science across the science discipline and with other curricular areas, and the quality materials needed to support the curriculum. An effective science teacher understands the philosophy and the place of science in the structure of the overall curriculum at the basic education level. An effective science teacher knows the content and connections of science across the different science disciplines at the basic education level and with other curricular areas. An effective science teacher understands that the science education's needs of all students, the future citizens, are different from the science education needs of students who have an interest in scientific careers. Professional practice. This category outlines what teachers are expected to do to achieve quality learning outcomes, the objective of science education. It also expects teachers to work with the learners, colleagues, parents, and other community members to achieve these objectives. The teaching practices listed include those that are unique to science teachers. Practice number one. Design sound science teaching and learning experiences suitable for those needs and interests of valid learners. Practice number two, creates and maintains a learner-centered, emotionally supported, and physically safe in learning environment. Practice number three, engage students in scientific investigation to be able to generate, construct, and test knowledge and evaluate evidence. Practice number four, find ways to extend student understanding of the ideas and concepts being learned. Practice number five, build student confidence and capacity to use scientific knowledge and processes to make informed decisions. Practice number six, uses a wide variety of strategies consistent with learning goals to monitor and assist student learning and to provide effective feedback. Professional attributes are those characteristics that enable teachers to embrace change to develop and improve teaching, teaching practice as well sustain professional growth. Professional attributes include modeling scientific inquiry skills and scientific attitudes. These attributes include being reflective, committed to improvement, and become becoming active members of their professional community. Attribute 1. Analyze, evaluate, and refine teaching practices to improve student learning of science. Attribute 2. Works with other teachers within the school and joins professional teachers and or community organizations to improve the quality and effectiveness of science education. That would be all. Thank you for watching. See you in our next vlog.